Welcome back. We are beyond excited to welcome Australian Phenom. And I use that word seriously because Phenom. We've watched your videos this morning. 14-year-old <laughs> Australian musician Taj Ferrant and local members of the band Nathan uh, Bryce and Loaded Dice. By the way, too, now that I've said your name, I know I've said it before at different events. Because I was like, <laughs> I know Nathan Bryce and Loaded Dice. Now that I've said it. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Taj, let's start with you. First of all, you're Australian. Yes. You're 14. Yep. You're amazing. Thank you. You were on Australia's Got Talent. Yes, I was. Okay. So tell us a little bit how you got started and why. Like when you were a little boy, just picked up the guitar and said, "I want to play the guitar." Um. So Dad took me to an ACDC concert when I was six, and uh, I asked for a guitar for my seventh birthday, and then I started from there. Okay, so I, I remember being in high school, so a long time ago, probably before you were born, but guitar became like the cool thing to do and everyone would get one and try a few strings and then let it down. So what kind of kept you going with like practicing, continuing to learn more and more chords, more and more riffs, songs? Um, I don't know, I just like enjoyed it, so I just kept playing it um, mm -hmm. and then it kind of clicked so I could... But it, did it come yeah. naturally to you, obviously? It might have come quicker than a lot of it, but it was a lot of practice as well. Yeah. Has anyone ever told you, like, when you perform, you kind of give, like, an old soul vibe? I was uh, getting Stevie Ray Vaughan vibes had, watching had, you, like... Yes, I've had that a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so how, how do you like America? Um, it's cool. I've been here a lot of times, so mm -hmm. it's like a So it's old hat to you now. now. Yeah. But you're, oh, we're you're looking at some here. footage, you, too, you've here. You've moved here, yeah. Very cool. What's your favorite part about performing? Is it, does it change each uh, location, each venue? Um, yeah, the the songs they, the songs don't change, but the way we play the songs always change. So, yeah. And that's been fun? Yeah, it's always fun. Oh, Let's get you the band. What is it like performing with this Australian young man who's so phenomenal? It must be a thrill for you guys to get to perform with him. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely fun to be... <laughs> Playing with a young guitarist mm -hmm. um, kind of reminds me of you know when I was younger and stuff like that. But you know it's it's definitely a good time and uh, we're enjoying it for sure. Are there things that you pick up from him and vice versa? Like you yeah. guys swap stories or techniques? Yeah, definitely. I mean, anytime musicians get together and play with each other, they pick up things from each other. But mm -hmm. but yeah, I've learned a lot from Taj, and he's probably learned a couple things from me, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't it always, always <laughs> a learning process? Like, I love getting together with my brands and performers and just having an old-fashioned jam session. Yeah. So just get together and start riffing and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Do you guys actually do that? Absolutely, yeah, we have. But now that Taj is here, it's going to be a lot easier yeah. for us to get together and do mm -hmm. jam sessions and stuff like that. But. But yeah, for sure, just the other night, me and Taj actually got together with just guitars and jammed out a little That's, bit. So, yeah. yeah. And because I'm new to the area, how long have you all been together as a band, as a group? Um, this group has actually been together since 2012. Okay. Uh, me and Jerry, Jerry's been the bass player through most of that, but um, Dylan joined us about three years ago. Very cool. He moved out here from L.A. And Very you have nice. a show coming up at The Riff, which we love The Riff, it's a great venue. Uh, tell us about the show and what people can expect. Um, we play a lot of like blues rock stuff and the boys um, and my sister open the shows. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, um, it's a lot of just guitar and funness. <laughs> just good music, good, yeah. good vibes, good everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, and tell us about your number one song, your blues song. Yeah, um, uh, so that one came out a couple of months ago. Um, and yeah, it, it took out the number one spot on the worldwide blues chart. So yeah, wow. that's amazing. Do you have a, a personal influence? Like, is there somebody you just look up to and you're like, okay, that's the that's hmm. the guy? Uh, yeah, the boys would even know this one. It's Gary Moore. Uh, see, they were laughing because they all knew the yeah. answer. To that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, we play um, some of his songs on the show as well. So mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. It, uh, and when you're when you're performing at the Riff. Uh, do you like to sing as well? Because I saw some videos of you singing. Yeah. And I think you're primarily known as the guitar, but do you enjoy the singing process? Uh, the singing's cool. I mean, I, I don't enjoy it as much as I playing guitar, but yeah, no, it's cool. Well, Maddie and I can't even chew gum and walk at the same time. So yeah. I don't know how you do this at the same time. <laughs> can't do singing any and of play. this. <laughs> but I was going to ask, you know, your dad is your manager and you have your sister also performing. Yeah. So how is it working with your family? Um, I mean, we all just kind of travel around in the bus and we get to see some new places so I I think it's going all right. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you're doing great. Okay. Yeah. I think you're doing great. Dad's doing good? He's giving a thumbs up off camera so that's mm -hmm. awesome. How many siblings do you have by the way? One. Just one. Just the sister. Okay. okay. And can we see your guitar? 
Yeah, so... Um, so explain what's going on with this beautiful instrument. So uh, I bought this uh, yesterday and uh, we're going to give it away at the show. So, yeah. And uh, how do you choose who you're going to give it away to? Is it a raffle? Uh, we have, Is like, it... raffle tickets at the show as well. So, yeah, you get one for free as you come in the door. Uh -huh. And then you can buy some at the merch stand and stuff. A question, because yes. I'm not musically inclined <laughs> whatsoever. What kind of guitar are we looking at? Um... It is an Epiphone and it's supposed to be a 335, but I don't know what the actual name of it is because they always change the names, but it is a 335. Ruby Um Yeah, and we got it from Palin Music where Dylan works. Oh, oh awesome. awesome. Okay. I gotcha. Love and by the way, the show is at The Riff on October 14th. You can get tickets uh, at uh, tajferrant.com. Just the way it sounds yep. and spells. You can yes. get tickets. <laughs> yeah. And you can possibly win a guitar, which is amazing, and see. Uh, really, uh, legends in the making and an amazing local group too as well that we love. And the Riff is such a great venue. It's going to be so much fun. You said, what time does the show start? About um, eight. about eight, six. Eight well, the doors open at six. So doors open at six. Show around eight. Yeah. Okay. Just make a big event, a big night of it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, by the way, too, now we are going to get to see Taj in action. We have a video. Uh, we're going to watch a video for um, his sh his song Crossroads. Crossroads. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks. I'm heading 